Hey everybody, so today's video is going to walk through this foldable that is going to be about rational expressions or algebraic fractions and I'm going to show you how to simplify, multiply, and divide. So we've done all of these things, now we're just making a foldable about it in case you need um, some extra practice. When you do this, you can just fold it over and you'll notice that there's a line right here and so you can cut down there, hopefully more straight than I just drew, and you can cut right here, oh goodness, and that will make it the foldable so that you can open it and close it and see what's going on underneath, and then you can practice simplifying, multiplying, and dividing. So let's go to the inside. The very first thing that it's gonna ask you to do is the simplify one. And so you're gonna write in these two little bubbles, then we're gonna put a little extra. So as we go through, if you need to pause, no big deal. So the first one, you factor everything first, which we've said over and over again. Now I'm just trying to put it in a new graphic for you. Factor everything. So if I look at this one right here, look, there's an example. And so as I factor that, I'm gonna look at the top and the top says 2x plus 18. So I have to think to myself, all right, is that a trinomial, first of all? And the answer is no, it's not a trinomial. So you don't um, draw the arrows as you do the way you factor the bottom. Up here, we're gonna say it's not a trinomial, so therefore I'm gonna look for a greatest common factor. Is there one? The answer is yes. And so therefore, this one, you, um, you're going to take the two out of both of those things. If you take the two out, what's left? X plus nine. So every time you're looking for a different context, which we're doing a sort in a different um, station, but this one right here, you, we just need to get used to looking at that and saying, oh, okay, greatest common factor. That one just has a greatest common factor. Then on the bottom, this one is a trinomial. So I can pull it apart like this, X and X, what does that get? Pause it if you don't see it yet, otherwise I'm gonna spoil the fun. Two and nine. So I get two X, I get nine X. A quick thought, do you see how this is a minus? Because it's a minus, I know that to multiply, I have to have a positive and a negative. Oops, that's a negative. And also, I, ha I know that if it's a positive or a negative, this thing is super important. This means, do you see how it's a positive seven? That means the bigger number down low wins. So I'm gonna say plus nine minus two, plus nine minus two. So therefore this down here breaks down into x minus two, x plus nine. Okay, so step number one was factor everything, which we did. Now, then one of the things that it's not going to list on here because I don't know if this um, I somebody else made it and they didn't. After you factor everything, you always check the bottom um, for what x can't equal. And so if you're still struggling with that, I've made a different video to tell you how that, so I'm gonna go through pretty quick here, but find another video, find a friend, find me, figure that out, okay? So first thing you do is factor everything, then check for what the bottom, check the bottom for what X can't be. So I'm gonna look down at the bottom and I'm looking right here. And so if X minus two equaled zero, that would make the whole bottom not work anymore. So I would add two plus two. So therefore I know that x two would make the bottom zero, so x can't equal that. Then I look right here. I say, okay, x plus nine equals zero, because if that equaled zero, the whole bottom wouldn't work. So minus nine, so x can't equal negative nine either. So there's one excluded value, another excluded value. So we factored everything, we checked the bottom for what x can't equal, and now what do I get to do? Now I cross off the common terms. I call that canceling. So, zoop, 
group. There we go. I thought I made that purple, but evidently not. Okay, good. Now, what happens after that? We're going to rewrite what is left. So in this case, what is left? On the top, I'm left with the 2. On the bottom, I've left with an x minus 2. You cannot, cannot, cannot cancel this 2 and 2. So your final answer, make sure that you actually checked it, should give you 2 over x minus 2. There's your final answer. So it's not 1 over x. You cannot cancel the 2 and the negative 2. You just get 2 over x minus 2. All right, let's go a little bit lower and see what we have down here. Oh, gosh. All right, so what I'm going to do, I want you to pause it, and then I'm going to quick do it for you. You're going to come back, and the work is just going to be get, be done. So pause, please, now. So when I looked at the top, I saw that it was positive 25. They multiplied to give me positive 25. Therefore, I know that the signs have to be the same because of this plus. When they add, they give me negative. That means minus, minus. So x minus 5, x minus 5. Then on the bottom, I see a difference of two squares because I've got an x squared and a 25. Difference of two squares gives me x plus 5, x minus 5. So I look at the bottom and say, okay, there are two things the bottom cannot, the x can't be on the bottom. Can't be negative 5 or positive 5. So if that's a struggle, again, check with a neighbor. And now I'm going to cancel the x minus 5, the first one. Can I cancel that? Yep. Some people say, well, how come you do that one, not the other one? It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to rewrite what's left. x minus 5 all over x plus 5. Yay! It's all good. All right. Now we're going to go on to the next one. And the next one is multiply. All right, so let's see what's in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click them all, and then you pause as you need to. First thing when we multiply, factor everything. Always, 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 always factor everything. Now, this is going to say it a little bit differently than I have said it, and maybe this will help you. Multiply the numerators. And then multiply the denominators. Maybe, I didn't specifically say it like that, but that's what we've done. Maybe this will help you. Cross off common terms. Now, when you multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, don't forget then to, um, right after here maybe, check the bottom um, for excluded values. That's what x can't be on the bottom. So don't forget to kind of put that in there. You might have to just squash it in. All right, so pause and make sure that you have everything written. All right, so here we go. I've got a problem. It says x squared minus 16 all over x squared plus 7x plus 12. On the top, 6x plus 18 all over 2. All right, so as I look at x squared minus 16, I see that that's a difference of squares. If you need to pause right now to come up with that on your own, please do. I'm going to tell you that it's first parentheses, second parentheses, first x, second x, plus 4, minus 4. doesn't matter what order you put it in. The bottom, I have to factor that as well. I know that x squared, it's a trinomial, so first x, second x, then... What well, multiplies to give me 12, adds to give me 7, plus 3, plus 4. Okay, now the next one. This, do you see it's 6x plus 18? That is not a trinomial. If it's not a trinomial and it doesn't have an x squared, then I look for a greatest common factor. So I've got a greatest common factor of, you got it, 6. What's left? x plus 3. So if it's not a trinomial, think, mm, is it a difference of squares? If it's not a difference of squares, you've got to find a greatest common factor. All over 2. 
Okay, now what this over here said was, now multiply the top by the bottom. So what if I just, I'm just going to take this and move it over, and then get rid of that little yellow spot. And so I'm just going to move it over so it's all multiplied. You can do that? Yeah, we kind of have every time. I guess I just didn't say it like that. Okay, now we look at the bottom. Let's see what the bottom can't be. As I look at the bottom, I see that there's two excluded values. So I know that x can't be negative 3 and x can't be negative 4. Now we can cancel, 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 cancel. And how about the 6 and the 2? Cancel to 3 over 1. So everything cancels on the bottom. On the top, I'm left with 3 times x minus 4. All right, the next one, I'm just going to put the work in and you follow through the work because I want to make sure that we get a division problem done as well. So if you need to skip over this for a while, you can on this video. All right, so I factored this and then I'm going to cancel some stuff and then I moved, I squashed everything together. Now I'm going to look at the bottom and say that x can't be positive 5, can't be negative 3, can't be negative 7, and negative 3 again, but I already took care of that. Now I'm going to cancel. Can I cancel the 3x squared? I can't. I cannot cancel with that x plus 3. That is a no, 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 no. My name is no, my sign is no, all of that. No, can't do it. Okay, but the x plus 7, you can cancel that. And you can cancel the x minus 5. Nothing else cancels. So I get 3x squared all over x plus 3 x plus 3. There it is. Alright, let's go to the next one. This time. Look at this. Do you see how the arrow is going back? It's really because the process is the same. This one we just have to keep, switch, flip first. So this says keep it, switch it, flip it. Um, so I'm actually gonna... So we don't say keep it, change it, flip it. We say switch. And so I probably should have changed that first. Sorry, keep switch, flip. We want to say switch because that's what you've always said. So keep, switch, flip. So let's look down here. When I see this because of the division, I have to rewrite it right away. So if I do that, then I'm going to rewrite it as x minus 3 over x squared plus 9x plus 20. But then, do you see this division sign? I now write it as a times, and I take this thing right here, flip it over. Please rewrite it. Take all of the paper that you need, rewrite it. All right, now I'm going to look and see, okay, now I go back and I factor everything. So x minus 3 doesn't factor, so I just write x minus 3. But x squared plus 9x plus 20 does factor. What does it factor to? Pause if you don't know. I'm going to say x and x, 4 and 5. Now I look at the top up here. It says 2x plus 10. Is that a trinomial? It's not, so, and it doesn't have an x squared, so I'm going to go greatest common factor and say that I can pull a 2 out, and I'm left with x plus 5. The bottom, I say, difference of squares, difference of squares, difference of squares. Hopefully you see that. x plus 3, x minus 3. Now. I look at the bottom. Again, pause if I'm going too fast. I look at the bottom. Got four things that x cannot be. x cannot be negative 4, negative 5, negative 3, positive 3. 
Now I can cancel, cancel, cancel.